I'm kind of a lord <laughs> I can't even get in here. <laughs> hey guys, welcome to my humble place. It's not a Cuban government. Ah. It's the US government that when you get back. So they got they got fish here, right? Yeah. What's going on guys? It's Ace. I'm back here downtown Havana. Thought I'd show you some more of the area. I'm heading this way. It's uh, next to the Florida bar I went to, the Ernest Hemingway bar right there. Um, and I'm heading down this way to see what I can find. I'm trying to look for some breakfast. Actually, it's a little bit of afternoon already and trying to see what's the energy about with that. But uh, yeah, I'm going to be walking down here. This guy right here looks like he's trying to follow me. <laughs> Already we start, but anyways, let's see how it goes. Uh, no, 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 for the hablar ahora, okay? Gracias. Todo bien. All right. So hopefully he doesn't follow me. Um, yeah, just not in the mood for haggling today, guys. All right. Hola, ustedes tienen desayuno? Okay. Yeah. You said yes. What type of desayuno? Traditional. Huevo, todo Okay. Yo quiero traditional. All right. Finally, we found something. Hey, hola, cómo estás? How are you? All right. Let's see how this is gonna look. It's in English for your boy. Two fried eggs, omelet, fruit juice. And there's another one, um, Suzo. I'm trying to see the difference between this one and this one besides the price. All right, guys, so here is the coffee. I got me some Cuban um, espresso, some agua. Uh, I don't know what the water's for over here. I'm gonna be drinking this one, you know? And then um, some sugar right there. Yeah, let's check it out. So let me just try the coffee by itself, just like this. <laughs> Hippie bureau. This is this is good coffee. This is good coffee. Mm. This is good coffee right here. Why not try it with some sugar? I needed that to wake me up. Oh. They gave me a huge bread. I'm not gonna gonna complain. It's a. Uh, <laughs> It's nice and toasty. I actually thought I was gonna be eating um, the, the Cuban bread I normally eat in Miami. And it seems like they don't normally make that here. Uh, at least in other places I've been, I haven't seen it neither. Maybe they make it, but in certain areas, but normally in Miami, anywhere you go, <laughs> and there's Spanish people, it don't even matter, they're gonna have Cuban bread. But this is uh, nice and toasty, it's okay. Okay, all right, and this right here is a uh, pineapple juice. Uh, I'm choosing to drink it. Uh, hopefully the water use is purified, but just to be honest, I've been going out and I noticed like, you know, they have ice and I've been drinking um, alcohol from the ice. I don't know if the alcohol does something with the ice, but I, I don't get sick uh, from drinking um, water with, uh, drinking uh, alcohol that had uh, ice water in it, so. Let's see. This is really good pineapple juice. Let me try some of this bread right now. Nice and toasty. Mmm. They gave me some butter here. One of the things I noticed though about old Havana, the prices are marked up higher in terms of getting food. Where I stay, it starts with a V. I'll put it here. The prices are a little bit uh, more economical. Uh, my breakfast right here. So I got some three eggs. It's normally it comes two eggs. I ask for another egg for additional price, and then ham and cheese right here. With just the regular two eggs and ham and cheese, this goes for like 350 pesos. All right, guys, I'm gonna enjoy this and get back on the road. All right, just in case you're wondering what's the name of the place, there it is. Something I wanted to talk about, man. First off, I want to give a shout out to. Uh, uh, Travel Medic. He is a uh, travel channel. I was speaking to him before I uh, came here. He gave me a lot of good advice about coming here. So most definitely check out his channel. I'll put his link in the description. Also, I want to talk about a little bit more about my experience coming here. Um, a hiccup I did. Normally when I travel, I have a system of where I, where I put all my stuff. 
electronics normally come on the carry on with me they're always like with me a computer stuff like that for the most part that's the case this time but I forgot to remove my SSD cards uh, I was in Miami I was moving from hotel to a next place and and I just put everything in my main bag and I forgot to remove those SSD cards. It was worth around $700, new SSD cards, not the regular hard drive ones. And um, <clears throat> I had a lot of files in there. Uh, all my old file, all my old videos from 2018 all the way up to now were in, the, were in there. And I ended up leaving them in my bag and came here. And when I got to my Airbnb, they were not in my bag. I didn't even realize they were in my check bag. Uh, that was missing. And also a razor was missing. And then a perfume. And how I know it, it wasn't left in Miami because the perfume box, <laughs> which ironically, it was still there, but it was empty now. And I had like three of them, three perfume boxes. Two of them still were full, the other one was not. And so, yeah, if you want to avoid all of that, just wrap your bags. You know, it could have still been avoided if I had wrapped my bags, because they, they can't really, if you're going through the airport, they can't really uh, take, pretty much they can't take it from you. Or they're gonna have to come up with a reason why they opened up your bag, if anything. And that's gonna be very questionable, like who opened it, it could be traced and stuff like that. So just wrap your bag if you are traveling here you got something that you have to put in your check bag very important all right anything else oh yeah um yesterday my, there was there was a power outage at my airbnb apparently this month i'm in the government has been telling people that there are going to be some power outages and so i experienced that water some places have it some places don't but i guess it depends on uh, the person's the business position but yeah we just came from they had water so i was shocked but then again we're in the tourist area but if you go to certain areas they'll be like oh no water we got coca-cola right. stuff another thing is the haggling once they know you're tourists they're, you know, they're gonna ask. Yeah, I ain't mad at them, but you, you know, you can't out here with everybody, man. to see me get money <laughs> they were i think they were thought I was like oh this guy is filming me he ain't even gonna drop no money see this is where i can go ahead and help people out basically <laughs> you know what i mean if i could all right this is uh haggling me no that's not gonna work we got something here some history here too okay. this is the wall of havana la muralla Ooh. this wall was around old havana mm -hmm. of the city was built for Spain, for protect Havana against pirate attacks. Havana was took to time. This was part of the fortress. It's the only part that remains of the city wall. They used to close it at 4 a.m. and open at 4 a.m. in the morning and close it at 9. So at 9 they do the cannon. They would shoot, the, they shoot the cannon? They shoot the cannon. They still till this day shooting the cannon. So they used to close the... I didn't know they, they shoot the cannon at night. Yeah, at night. You never heard it? Like, no, I yeah, for, from where you stay, you can hear it, like boom. I you hear Havana. boom, but I think yeah. it's cold Cuba. I don't know. No. <laughs> Every day, 9 o'clock, they shoot in the cannon. And this is the only wall, the only door that still reminds of, of, the, of the wall. This right here? Yes. This? Top, yes. It, let me show you the map. It's in some part of Havana, of Havana, they still reminds a few parts, but the only door that is still... This is one of the original remain, remaining doors. This is the map of all Havana. 
the wall used to be all, all around. And this was the like different doors. Puerta de luz, doors. Puerta de la pobres. Puerta de la punta. Puerta de Colón. Monserrate. Puerta de la tierra. And we are over here. Wow. So are all of all of these. The streets of Havana. This is the map. Wow. Of Havana. The wow. original map, the first one. Wow, that's amazing. And is this a castillo? Yes. This is uh, a castle? Over here. This is one of the castles. But this is a, a, the one in, in the Malecon with the Malecon. Okay, yeah. okay, okay. Wow. And so, but this is the only one, the door that still remains here. Wow. Man, you, how you know this? Bro, <laughs> like, a lot of like, I live in this city. Have a story about it and man, reading, like walking. You like, know, no, baby, ever since I met this guy, he's like a library of information. <laughs> he ain't, he's not, he's not just opening his mouth saying this man knows exactly what he's talking about. You're not gonna waste your time taking a tour with the man. All right, <laughs> you better be busy, man. I know you're busy already. Okay, yeah, well, if you can, if this is a book, try to book with him. If, if you see if you can get, uh, squeeze in. Like I guarantee you, he, advance, it's gonna be like booking advance. Yes, so. book in advance. So it's gonna be really good. You're not gonna waste no time at all. He can help set up everything for you. All right. When Obama was president, they changed. He changed a couple things, right? Yeah, they give twelve categories to American visitors so they can come to Cuba and visit. Oh, twelve different reasons why they could come here. Okay. Like people to people, that Trump eliminate that support of the Cuban people. So interchange like between schools, uh -huh. cultural trips, like, you know, college. And, and that's what Obama did for the people of Cuba. Yes, he opened like first Obama opened like the embassy in Cuba after 88 years of being closed. Wow. So he make like a ceremony in the at the embassy. Yeah. And they put the flag again. Wow. So the flying was not a, a, a building. So then he like people start to come in the like cruise ship, you know, Royal Caribbean, so rest of the sea. It was a lot more money coming in too. Bro, like Havana change. You know, it was good for it was good for, for the, everybody. For everybody. The, when the cruise ship used to dock at the at the mm -hmm. harbor, the city got crazy. Classic cars, like <laughs> everyone come out spending money, you know, people were happy. Uh, when even when Obama came, uh, people wanna like to see him. Like, That's why say people hi. say, "Oh, I like yeah. Obama, Obama come." They like yeah. him here. Yeah, they like him. And, and then, then Trump getting office and everything. What happened so, when Trump? He cut the uh, like cruise ships. He cut some flights. Like he cut some categories. So, but like many people don't knew, is what like they kind of still coming to Cuba on the support of the Cuban people. Oh, uh, so a lot of people thought when Trump yeah, changed... Stop it, but he didn't stop everything. Okay. Yeah, that was like even possible to come on the support of the Cuban people. That basically is like book your flight, stay at Airbnb, not at hotels. Okay. Use private taxis, eat at local restaurants, and like bring supplies to like some people to share with the locals. So it's people can still come here. Yeah. But a lot of people, when they saw it, they thought it was over. But yeah, they saw the Trump like... Well, well, everything well, wasn't well, over. Under Obama, could people stay at hotels here? Not really. No. Even even then, they still was yeah, not yeah. allowed to stay at hotels. Hotel, yeah. Okay, yes. but at least they could. It was more categories for them to come visit. The well, like what happened? Like if you came under the other categories, like yeah. you can stay at the hotels. But support of the Cuban people category, you can't. Oh, stay at the okay. Now I'm getting it. You know, and Trump give like a list of hotels that you cannot and you can't stay. It's a list. Wow, yeah, yeah. But like many people saying that it's like a Cuban, no, that don't want the, that American state hotel. No, it's not a Cuban government. Ah. It's the US government that when you get back, you say, listen, you stay in the Cuban hotels that maybe like that property was owned by the Americans that they left Cuba, you know, and there is a law that they have like a, in court, ah. they they sue Royal Caribbean because that was using the the port dock that used to be owned by the American family. Wow, back in, back in days. So it's so many different politics on yeah, these it's, embargoes, yeah, it's, bro. Like so many politics, like you have to like you know read about it and look. 
to more information about it. Like it's more complicated like the people sing. It is, you know. Okay, cool. And that's happening. So like we're talking about Western Union. Yeah. When first people come here, they got broke because they came just with a few hundreds of dollars and, and they, they think that the car's working. So they got broke, but like they use Western Union. Somebody like you send money, mm. but Trump got uh, Western Union. So, no more. I like these uh, security uniforms. They're very nice. Oh, hola. <laughs> Something about the fish stockings. <laughs> I just see at the, uh -huh. at the airport, they have the same yeah, stocks. I, I stocks it's uh, yeah, fish stockings. Yeah. It's like, oh. Buena estilo. <laughs> <laughs> So what is this again? This is ATM and um, the banks, so people to exchange. This is the line oh to to get wow! It. That's so the, the main street in Old Havana. Mm. It's a pedestrian street, Obispo. This is the drugstore from Johnson, Johnson Johnson. Oh. in the days before the fifties. Wow! Hold on, let me look. Is it is it empty now or? It's empty, but it's like a museum, but it's closed now. Oh, okay. This street before the pandemic. Yeah. Was like. Most of the bar, this is one of the bars. They have different bars with live bands, music playing. So it was a lot more live. Over. More a lot of live. Over. This street right here. Right here. It's like people compare it like the Bourbon Street, something like that. Ah, yeah, I got it. Okay, I because got it. Because I have libraries, uh, shops, restaurant bars, and people shopping, walking up and down. And it get crowded on weekends, especially too, with people going out. Oh, man. Yeah, you know, people come, foreigners come here every day. I just met a group of foreigners from Italy. And I might. Italy, Europeans, mm -hmm. Canadians, German, even from Russia before like, the war. Mm -hmm. Many Russians come here. Wow. This might be one of the most famous islands people like to come to in the Caribbean. Hold on. One of the, yeah, like, like <laughs> Adnan. <laughs> it's not even like the. Like half a percent of tourists that used to come to Cuba. This is not even no. half? What is it, like a third maybe? 30, 35%. That's the, the telephone company, the only one that you have. Okay, yeah, that's the one I have right now. SIM card, yes. Mm -hmm. It's the only one. Can a foreigner get it or? Yes, you can with your passport and you like $10, you get the Cuban SIM cards so you can get data, phone calls, and everything. Yeah, I have it. It's, it's, it's not that bad. It's not the super fastest, but... Yeah, like, you know, it's not bad. See, Havana Street. Oh, okay. Yeah, I see it. Uh, you know the streets by the back of your hand. You know everything now right here. It's just normal walking through these streets, huh? Yeah, this is like... Old Havana is a historical center. It's where the tourists come to, you know, to go to the main squares, mm -hmm. main restaurants. But, uh, but Cuban people live here, so it's not like it's touristic, but it's touristic because the history, you know, it's mm. one of the, like the the main square, all the squares, uh -huh. you know, all the history, museums, uh -huh. restaurants. Uh -huh. Oh yes, a lot of Cubans. Like the back streets of the main squares, it's just to like a local a neighbors, like the hood. Okay, okay. You know? We guys, we, if we film another video, you can't you can't miss it, okay? I'm actually in the possession of a Black Panther shirt from a, someone who uh, escaped um, the United States. So don't miss that video, <laughs> okay? This is another video we're doing right now. Yeah, bro, don't, don't miss out. Don't miss out. <laughs> <laughs> but he's showing me around town and giving me more perspective of this city. Uh, baby, baby. All right. Oh man. Nice, nice. Oh yeah. Nothing today. <laughs> so what is this place? This is a Del Frente. Okay, and Del Frente. It's really good? It's good. Okay, let's go. Drinks, food. Alright, cool. Yeah, it sounds like I got good music here too. I feel, a, I feel a good vibe in this coming up here. AC guys, just in case you're wondering. Alright, okay. Okay. Thank 
Thank you. Have a seat. Huh? Yes, snapper. Okay. The is good here. Fish is good. They have uh, the tacos too. The tacos is good. Okay, guys. And try the sauce. Try the sauce. Try the sauce. Try. Right. All right. Ah. Very, very. Ooh. It's sweet and a little bit of spiciness. Um, we we moved to another table, better table right here. Hey, let me ask you a question. So they got they got fish here, right? Yeah. This is an island. I've been to a lot of different islands, and a lot of different islands have fish. A lot of fish. Boy, what happened in Cuba, bro? You can have, you can find fish, but they export like most of the fish and the lobster. You can find the fish, but like at the restaurants, hotels, but like even like local people, they don't have much access to fish, even like the sea is over there. Because the resources, like you go to the Malecon, you see the fishermen, they fishing, and they sell into the restaurants, but it's not like, like a fish market. Like in the Iceland, when you go to buy the fish, plenty of fish, no. Yeah, cause I've been to plenty of different islands and it's fish everywhere. This is like the first island I've noticed that you're an island, you are surrounded by food. Remember that everything is controlled by the government. So they don't allow um, freelance fishermen in the water? They allow, but they, they have a small boats, they don't have big, don't have all big ships, everything is by the government. So fish here is expensive? Some places. But like what happened? Like at the restaurant you can find it like for the regular people. You know like mean regular tourist people or Cuban people don't have much access to, to eat fish. It's expensive for them. One pound, the pound of fish is like two hundred and twenty dollars. Two two hundred and twenty pesos. It's like two dollars and twenty cents. But this in fact is expensive for the with the salary. It's like two thousand twenty-five, thirty dollars, the minimum salary. So that's, that's too much. That's too much for uh, a local to afford. Yeah, that's too much. So this is this place right here is geared more to tourism. That's why we have fish here. Yes. Okay. That's crazy. You would think uh, like, hey, we for Cubano, you go al mar, Jamaica. You go there, there's plenty of fish. Like Haiti, even Haiti. I have been three times in Haiti. You got fish. <laughs> and everything that you wanted. Yeah. Then you don't have the money, but they have everything you want. And you're here like to find water in Cuba. Like find a bottle of water, you have to walk <laughs> a lot and you don't have in Haiti it's hard to find beer. <laughs> it's different. In Haiti, if you want a prestige, that's hard to <laughs> it's hard, you have to look for it sometimes. <laughs> Depending where you at, <laughs> they got plenty of water, man. Oh man, it's crazy. What is look, 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 look. Uh huh. <laughs> look, look. So I just was saying that after Obama visit Cuba and open it up, Havana was pooping. We have yeah. a big concert of uh, Rolling Stone, like Mick Jagger, all these people. Fast and Furious 8, they choose the movie, the city got crazy. That like you have helicopters flying the city, the big trucks from Hollywood. They pay a lot of money to the taxi driver, wow. the classic cars, yeah. and to the government to allow to shoot because it was the first big movie they shoot in Cuba. Chanel, the company, the clothes, fashion, they do a show here in Cuba. Rihanna, Kardashians, everyone wants to come at that time to Havana. So it was big. Many restaurants open, many Airbnbs. But then with Trump, everything messed up. And now with the pandemic, there is not many restaurants open like they used to because economy is not so well. You can find like the resources. You, when you see the menu in the restaurants, they don't have everything that you're looking for. Oh, you have this? No, no, I only have this, this, you know. If they know they got enough money coming in, they could keep it a stock pile of stock. Okay. okay. Like, even like you see that they have many new uh, hotels building because before the pandemic, they were expecting. Many, but they built many hotels, but the pandemic makes everything up. Oh, is your drink coming up? Thank you. Wow. Thank you. Mm. Mango, guys. Really good. Mm. This, all right, the food came so far, guys, and this is actually a croqueta. The fish. Fish for croquette is very good. Pescado. Pescado. Croqueta de pescado. Really good. Very tasty. So, food is here. Nice filet of fish right here. Mashed sweet potato and some vegetables. Bon appetit, yo. 
Yeah, guys, this is actually good right here, man. Sweet mashed potatoes. I've never ate that before. It's good. Wow. All right, guys, we're back in uh, the strip. It's showing me this building right here. It used to be the treasury building. And um, now they're building a hotel right here. Um, very impressive hotel. <laughs> it's, wow, this is fire. They don't build buildings like that anymore. Oh man, it's gonna uh, be amazing. Yeah. How you do with uh, people uh, uh, simply asking for cash? That, that was a thing for me this morning. A lot of as soon as I start, people what? It's it's hard, like because you don't really know never when what the situation. Yeah, what the situation. Some people they really need it. Some people do it. They drink alcohol. Some mm -hmm. other people they asking and they they living a, a good life. They have a good house, like you know. Mm -hmm. I have seen. A guy that he used like, wow, like he have problems wearing like rip off clothes. Yeah. And then I have been seeing him drinking beers, wearing like night nice clothes and. Ah, uh, so that's his also. Yeah, that's what he like. <laughs> 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 smoking ganja. <laughs> <laughs> oh, there you go. Good energy here when it comes to uh, the people here, for sure. This building is like how of the buildings in Cuba. Uh, like back in days, used to be owned by only one Spaniard family from Spain. They used to put the horses okay. here, downstairs, like the quart. Business at the side and the houses, owned by only one family. You see the, the blue tanks? It yeah. will save the water. Okay. If the water don't have like enough strength to get up, so they use pump to pump the water up. Now there is multi families, many like 18 okay. families. So this is like another tenement uh, home, guys. This is like, like the, the meters for like the electricity. If you see every, every meter, it's one house. There's okay. multiple family okay. building now. Oh wow. So what people did is they divide the spaces, you know, and build. And in the first floor, for, uh, they did like a kitchen, bathroom. Mm -hmm and the living room, the second floor, the rooms. So is the, everybody share the kitchen or? No, no, the, the small, if you see small and tiny places, okay. and then you see the condition, the wood is supporting, so prevent it to fall. Wow. They already didn't fall, but they put it. They support it a little bit. It. Yeah, it's in danger. Yeah, it could be there. a gas meter. Wow, they even ran the gas through here. Oh, you gotta be careful in this. Uh, this I will show you another one that like you see like the, another one that the stay falls and you just have to fix it. And okay. Yeah. There's many old buildings here in Old Havana. They have many years and they don't keep it. They because people don't have the money to renovate, you know? Alright. So they have a lot of construction going on. It's like apartments, buildings. Oh, her? <laughs> She's smiling <and> everything. <laughs> Hola. Hola. Hola, como esta? This is his, okay, his boyfriend, boyfriend, the okay. one that lives here, so I want to show you. Como esta? Demonio. Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Uh, let me turn on the light. Okay. See, see, look at the electricity. Wow. These are all wires. This is going everywhere, right? This one was the original, the original stairs. Okay. But this fault. Oh, so it became so dangerous. They're using any more this one, so they're using this. The government. Yeah. Fixing this one. Okay. They're using this one. Okay. Stairs kind of shaky, but not too bad. You know, I'm a big guy. <laughs> You're not expecting a heavy guy. Alright. You see this? Yeah. Wow, I don't even want to be hanging out right here. It's a little dip. And then you got all these power wires. All these doors are in the apartment. Alright. The, the, got some cats here hanging out. All right. Smash the clothes and hang it. Oh, okay. Good idea. 
So and essentially this still is a tenement. Alright. These are more apartments upstairs. Okay. You see? The people they have they fix it and they do new they use the uh, space and they do a small rooms. And so what happens when it rains? <laughs> I mean good so air places. Uh, get what it rains is bad for this building because they so old. Yeah. Rains, the humidity and then when the songs get down, yeah, get out, yeah, they like explode up, collapse. Many of them collapse. Oh, so you gotta be careful. It's, it's in danger, yes. It's in danger. This one, this is a, a bathroom that they build. It. A bathroom? Yes. Okay. Yes, they don't okay. have any years. So uh, Alright. Oh wow. Comfortable. It's like the kitchen. You got the AC? No, like AC is a little bit. <laughs> and light it? The fun. <laughs> yeah, okay, that's the window right here. And then you got your fan. This is there for saving water. Here. Oh, yeah, mm hmm. So this one is not the case for many of these buildings like this, they share a bathroom. Yeah. So this one is okay. He's <laughs> building one from him. For himself, so you don't have to use it. Another. Yeah. So how you go in this bathroom here? You gotta go the other way. The other way. Okay, and this, this is already here. This is fixing. Oh, he's fixing it. Okay, for people upstairs. Okay. How? So just get on another part. Okay. Last time. Okay. 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 All right. I'm kind of bored. <laughs> I can't even get in here. Gordo. <laughs> Give Okay. So here, like, people can live like four to five generations together. Wow. In the same place. And how how is it private when it comes to privacy here? Bro, that's the problem. That we have five to six generations. Like, if you got a boy girlfriend, you have to go to the park to someone else. And the people pass it down. Remember the house, generation to generation. Mm -hmm. so okay. If you buy the house, you have to buy it in cash. Yeah. Yeah. ¿Qué piense? Americano. No. Jamaica. No. Haití. Eso. Bueno, ahí de nosotros los negros. Ah, sí, bueno. Y ahora yo en Estados Unidos, pero mi padre es de Haití. Sí, sí, claro. Es un buen lugar. Okay. Let me. Hey, I, I want to give you these uh, people a tip. Huh? Okay. ¿Cuántos años tiene? Ah, you, uh, yo. 22. No, ma, amor. 22. Ma. Uh, parece que tiene menos. <laughs> La raza es. Tú tienes mucho novio. ¿Cuántos años tengo yo? 43. 62. No, no. No de mayo, 60. No, amor, no ah, parece, no. La raza nuestra, la que no se Black le cae. Crack. Yeah. La raza, la, la raza, raza negra, la raza negra. Black. Sí. Es la de sí, 62 años. Mm, sí. ¿Tutoria? Bonita también. Sí. sí. Oh, <risa> no me diga, busca un novio allá. Ay, yeah. es soltera. Necesito es, un novio. Imposible, mo. Porque si ya tengo seis nietos, tres hijos. Six, six nephews. Wow. 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 Sí. Wow. You look, they don't have a seat here. Only... Oh, so they got the fan blowing here. No, no te pare que te entrenta más calor. Yeah, yeah. But this is a Mira, nice sí. reality. Right? Yeah, nice re um, reality. Um, and what about privacy? No, I. This is the bad. Ese That's the only privacy. El baño, el baño. Mm -hmm. Okay. 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 Alright. Okay. Hey, I'm gonna give you something so you can give them, okay? When we go outside you can give it to her. Okay. 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 Buena okay. para okay. conocer que usted es, okay. Okay. Siga así joven así. Joven, ¿dónde? Tira una foto para me gusta un novio para mí. Dale, 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 baby. Hacer el sexy. Uh, sexy. Uh, bop. <laughs> Oh, wow. oh, 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 oh,
every family yeah. have a ration book for food, like six pounds of rice per person a month, five eggs a month, some oil. It's very cheap in pesos, kind of like in communist countries, like the Soviet Union, yeah. Germany, but Cuba is still doing this. In America, like food stamp are different. Here, the people came with the book and they do the mark on, so every month they get that. And that's for every family? Every family, but it's ration. Ration. Six pound, no more. And that's for one month? For one month. One pound in here of rice costs like seven pesos. Stay in the street, 65 to 70 pesos, one pound of rice. Wow. wow. So this small, it's not last for the whole month, but it's hard. It, 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 oh, okay. They're playing R. Kelly. Uh, yeah, I, I know he got 30 years uh, on VI down here, but many people don't know it down here. They still love him. But like what I said, you have to separate the artist, the, the, you know, the, the music, music from the, uh, the, the person. The person. Okay guys, welcome to my humble place. We are in Old Havana, the touristic area. So if you book a tour right here with the Cuban Plu with me, so I will be able to set up a dinner, authentic dinner. So Cuban typical food, so you won't get this anywhere else. So you have like authentic dinner with my family, you know? So right here, so this is my spot, this is my spot right here. Yeah, this is a very, very beautiful place, man. It's real close to the tourist areas, like a bunch of hotels on this corner. This is a, the area we were basically yeah, touring big today. Squares, you know, yeah, Plaza Vieja, everything's on here. Main Street, Obispo. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. So, just check out the decor. This is my favorite part right here. Yeah, okay, you know. <laughs> <laughs> okay, and then he, you know, he got uh, pictures of his family. So you really, when you come here, you get a real sense of home. That's the most thing that I enjoy, that I uh, feel like I'm home, relaxed, and I'm, I mean, we've seen different um, homes today. Yeah, we've seen like, uh, he, I, I went with, with Leon, you know, and saw like some of the authentic places that were the local Cuban leaves. So have you see, like I was explaining him before, like this took me time and money to, to do this, you know, to set up everything here. So yeah, like, well, before, how was it this place before? Well, this, this one, like, only the floor was empty, the roof was falling. Everything was in bad conditions, have to redo it, everything. And how you how were you able to go ahead and do that? Because, like, there are uh, many, like, tourists coming when the Obama time, with the cruise ship, it's helped me, like, they hired me as a tour guide, as I was able to do, Man, to make that it. money. It's a lot of work, man. It's yeah, a, a lot of work and money, you know. Oh, well, we appreciate you, man. Look at you. Uh, man, thank you for bringing me to your house, man. Guys, if you are trying to get in contact with this guy, get an authentic feel for Cuba from someone knowledgeable, because I've been around some random people, right, in other videos. But someone knowledgeable knows his stuff and can bring you to places you probably couldn't go and speaks really good English. This is your guy right here, okay? You, man, this guy, listen, but I, I gotta stress this. If you're coming, give the man time because he's busy, okay? But uh, schedule, call him up, schedule up something. You're busy because you're worth it. Yeah. You, you, this past day, he had a couple of women from New York. He had some women from... Not like Texas, or Houston, from Charlotte, uh, from DC, yeah, a couple of... This guy knows what he's talking about and he's gonna make your experience here well worth it. All right, go check him out, okay? There. I just keep thinking about the tenement we just saw and then now that it's raining, it gets me nervous on um, the condition of how the place could be. And what he's telling me is that the government can step in and shut it down, but they will offer them a temporary home. Yes. But those homes, that's crazy, man. Many people, multiple family living together, no conditions at all, like sharing like same bathrooms. Imagine if you have kids, you know, they with people that you don't know, men all together, no conditions. So, and then, I know people waiting 20, 15, even 30 years to, to the government provide a new place. And they never, it never happens. The government building the hotels, Restaurants, but not a house. And so it takes a while for them to. Not a well, while, it, years. It, years before. So those people who live in temporary housing, that's their new house. That's it. Yeah. yeah. And like, some many times they build these house and we lost in life. 
people like yeah, because I'm dying, dying. And, and, and they most of the falls it happens after like at night when they're sleeping. When they're sleeping, you know. Uh -huh. So if you're sleeping in the bottom and something fall, it's not good. It's not good. Yeah. You might likely survive if you live on the top. Even even on the top, yeah. When this building collapse, it's crazy. Wow. So the in the past, the buildings have collapsed. Like every day. <laughs> Get out of here. Every day. You see the conditions of the building? Yeah, you have, like seems, collapsing, it, like balcony falls. So you see many people walking in the middle of the tree in you know, Havana. And the people say, what the people want in the middle of the street? But the balconies, they fall. <laughs> wow. Yeah. All buildings. That right there gets me like nervous, you know what I mean? What happens to those buildings when they fall? Did they get rebuilt back or? Mostly some of them they get rebuilt, but most of them they do another building. Maybe a hotel. Okay. Yeah. And they relocate the people that out of the city. They want another place far. That's why like many people wonder why the people are still living in these conditions because they don't have a better option. They live too far, they're they far away from far the money. Away, yeah. This right here, the main economy here is the tourism here in the neighborhood. Um, also like one of the main is like a exporting like doctor service. Uh, oh, yeah, I heard about that. A lot of people come here for uh, to use medical, uh, medical, medical services, services here. Wow, yeah, I heard about that. Yeah, but what happens is that too, like, some of the doctors, they go out on mission, they leave the missions because the payment, you know, the government gets part of the of that payment. Okay. And when they leave the missions, they escape, they have to wait eight years to come back as a sanction. What? What? Yeah, it's like that. They have to come back, they can get back in the country after eight years? After eight years. Because I know a lot of people, uh, a lot of doctors have left. And then, you know, you still have some who are still, yeah, still here. Yeah, most of them, they have their family here. You know, they live for a better situation, a better economy. You know, can help their families. From there, from, from there. there. Yeah. Um, when I was in a, a club, I ended up meeting a Mexican, uh, not a Mexican woman, uh, uh, when I was in a club, I ended up meeting a Cuban woman. And uh, with her, she uh, lives in Mexico now. She left? Huh? Okay. Yo pensa mucho. He's pushing us back because I'm so happy, man. You have seen, like, we have also here the bigger, like, Latin American school of medicine. Yeah. Many people, like, from Mexico, from Africa, even from the United States, we have the students studying medicine here in Cuba for free. Yeah, um, there was a doctor in Haiti that, uh... I didn't have many doctors. Yeah, I, doctors I met him he, in Haiti, but... He came here to learn uh, yeah. study. Yeah. Uh, we, got, uh, we got the ring going, guys. Yo. It's not much, but it's all I have. You know, if we could run to a place where we belong. There's tourists yeah. around in the bike, like 10, 20 dollars, one hour, around in the square here yeah, in yeah, Havana. Yeah. Yeah. This is how I start to meet people. Like, and they tell him to their friends, hey, yo, this guy in Cuba is speak good English, so he can show you around. So people start to tell me, oh, let's do a walking tour. He took me in a classic car, took me to Baradero, so this is how I end up, like, doing tours, you know? But it was, it started off riding bicycles. Wow.